Hi, I am Dr. Robbie George. I'm the head of the Department of Vascular and Endovascular Surgery at the Narayana Health City. So I'm just going to talk to you briefly about what's new in vascular surgery in terms of technology. So one of the commonest things that we deal with, with is when patients get blockages of their blood vessels and which blocks the ability of blood to flow either from the heart to the other parts or back from the other parts like the leg to the heart. So for many years, the technology was either you did an angioplasty, which is where you stretch open the blockage with a balloon, or the option was to do a bypass, either with your own blood vessel or with an artificial tube. Today, there is new technology to which fortunately we have access to, by which we can actually remove the thing that is causing the blockage. So this involves a technique either called etherectomy, by which we remove part of it, or else we can use other technologies like what is called angiojet or what is called a penumbra aspiration where you're actually able to suck out and remove the blockage. Certain people get a blockage in the blood vessels where the blood vessel blockage is extremely hard. It is almost like hard as stone and rock it becomes like your bone. And this is what we, it's due to a process called calcification. So in patients who have very, very calcified and hardened arteries, a normal angioplasty is not that effective. And often what you would have to do is you would have to place a stent, which is like a metal spring inside to help keep it open. And stents are great things, but they are not always suitable to use in certain areas of the body. So now there is technology which is called ultrasonic lithotripsy intravascular. So lithotripsy, if you might have heard of it, is a technology that was used to treat stones that people got in their kidneys. It is essentially very focused ultrasound waves that are used to fracture up the hardened bone or the hardened stone into softer pieces. And we can now do the same thing for a blocked blood vessel, but through the inside of the blood vessel using very fine wires and balloons. So now that we have this combination of technologies like intravascular lithotripsy, suction thrombectomy, and atherectomy, we have a much wider range of technology available to us to clear blockages completely and restore circulation and we are able to do things which we were not able to do earlier. Obviously not everybody is suited or appropriate for this technology but that is a decision that we as vascular and endovascular surgeons would like to guide you on if that is ever required. Thank you.